This video demonstrates how to use the PubMed database to find journal articles and search by topic and keyword. PubMed uh, is a free government website that's uh, sponsored by the National Institute of Health, National Library of Medicine, and um, includes indexes, um, in other words, citations and abstracts for almost every medical journal out there. The, you can get to PubMed through several ways. There's a link from the library website in the Finding Journal Articles page um, under Online Databases. It's the third one on the list. So you can get to it that way. You can also just type in PubMed.com or PubMed.gov into your browser and it'll take you right to it. This is the main page of PubMed. As you can see, there are a lot of um, help options. There's tutorials for using PubMed, quick start guide, frequently asked questions tutorials. Those are all worthwhile to check out if you watch this video and s would like to know more about PubMed or need to search PubMed more in-depthly. And you can also come up here to the help screen, click on that and it'll give you more information about PubMed and how to use PubMed. And PubMed has uh, one main disadvantage, although it has many advantages, um, as I said before, it, it indexes almost every medical journal out there. The disadvantage, main disadvantage, is that since it is a free public website, um, it does not include the full text for most of the articles that are listed in the database. And this is because there are two main types of journals. There are paid journals and there are um, open access journals. Most journals are paid journals, although there is a growing movement toward open access journals. And the difference is that an open access journal, um, the publishers of that journal decided that the contents of that journal were so important to the uh, scholarly community, the medical community, that they decided to make their articles and their journal available online for free to anybody who wanted to look at it. And these are still um, scholarly journals, peer-reviewed journals, uh, they just make their content free. Uh, on the other side of that are pay journals, and most journals are still pay journals. And a pay journal is a journal that you need a subscription to, a yearly subscription to, in order to access the articles online. Or pay, it's a, they do a pay per article fee, where you pay a fee on the publisher's website to view the article. And you don't, you as a student at the University of St. Augustine should never have to pay the publisher's fee to view an article on the publisher's website. We have several resources available for you that have already been paid for. Um, in other words, we have subscriptions to journals, we have subscriptions to databases that have full text, and we also have an interlibrary loan service, and you can find out more information about all of those on the Finding Journal Articles page of the library website. So in PubMed, the only full text you'll get is the full text for open access journals. You won't have full text access to any pay journals through this particular website. Now, saying that, um, I did mention that we have access, the university has access to the full text of articles in other places, and so PubMed is still very worthwhile to use, particularly if um, you want to find the most information that's out there and not be limited in your search. Okay, we're going to do a sample search and you can, the basic search box here, you can just type in a string of keywords and click search. There's also an option for limiting your search. And this is just to get more specific results, results that are more tailored to your needs. One of the most useful features is to publish, the published in the last, um, and you can choose 30 days, 60 days, etc. It the date limiter and you can get just the most current information. We're going to set it to five years. You can also limit by type of article. You can limit um, that you just want articles about humans. There's different subsets, um, languages, and I'm not going to choose this, but you might want to choose English because there are articles in the PubMed database that are in foreign languages. 
um, you can specify that you want articles just on a certain gender, just relating to a certain age. And these are um, all good tools to get your results to be specific to what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and do a search for cervical spine. And it's always best to start with a broader search and then narrow it gradually as you determine um, how many results you get basically. So we're going to do this very broad search for cervical spine within the last five years and then narrow it if need be. And we do have a need to narrow it because we got over 7,000 results and we don't want to look through all of these. So um, I'm going to add some more keywords here. Let's say physical therapy. And when you're typing keywords up here, you don't really need to worry about commas or separating them with the word and or anything like that. Uh, it'll just read the keywords and search for those keywords within the articles. So let's add physical therapy and see if we get some better results, or fewer results rather. We still get 472, and personally that's still more than I want to look through, particularly since a lot of them probably aren't what I'm looking for. They're probably articles that aren't specific to what I'm searching for. So I'm going to add one more keyword. Headache. And let's see what we get for that. Searching um, online in databases is very much a trial and error process. Uh, you have to enter keywords and if you don't get the results you want, play around with your keywords, enter synonyms, um, and some of the, the help section and some of the, the search tips in the help section can, can help you to become a more informed searcher. Okay, and this time we get 55 results, so that's much more manageable of a number. And we can display these results in different ways. You can display the summaries, what we have now. You can display the abstract, although that would make for a pretty long list. Um, we can do a pretty good job with the title, seeing whether we want to read the abstract. You can see how many items you want per page, and you can sort by different um, by different things. And we're going to sort these by publication date. Okay. If we want to just look at these. Um, you can look through your list of results, look at the titles, and if you think that that looks like a, a title that would be useful, you can put a check mark in the box next to it. And then it'll tell you how many things you've selected. And then over in the Send To section, you can choose to send your list to uh, an email. You can send yourself an email with your list. You can send it to a clipboard, which will basically just separate out the things you've selected. Um, so you can look at them all together. So this is very handy as you're going through. You can mark the ones that you think are worth looking into and you can leave the ones unchecked that you don't think would be very useful. If you see a title with brackets around it, that means that this article is published in a different language. In this case it's Chinese. And um, in that limiting section you can limit just to English titles and then you don't have to worry about that. And as I mentioned with the full text, um, you can see that of 55 results, only 13 of them are free full text. So that's a pretty accurate ratio of what you'll get in PubMed. And if it does, if it is a full text, a free full text article, it'll say next to it free text, free article, uh, free article. So you can you can tell that way. Okay, let's go ahead and click on one of these and take a closer look. As you can see it gives you the abstract, the title, the this is the citation up here. And if it is a full free full text article, it'll give you links up here. And sometimes even if it isn't full text, it'll give you a link to the publisher's website that um, you can go to to view the article um, for a fee and please don't do that get it through interlibrary loan or through one of our other resources okay this is the basic if you have any other 
questions, want a more detailed tutorial, please contact librarian at usa.edu.